So well done to the people who spotted something on a recent vlog. Right, so there's some showers, all done. So I'm sort of on the way to Alford, uh, where I am at the moment, but that's just... <sighs> Pretty, I don't know what I'm going to do. And I'm, 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 I'm at the actual, I don't know, to weep. Really? What, you have to spend money? I have to have to draw some money out, but something's happened in my car. Oh, wow. It's another day, another beautiful day. And we're on a Friday. Yet another weekend has come round. It feels like the bank holiday that we've just had, I was only a handful of days away, was weeks away. Um, um, once again, because the weather forecast is good, we've got a relatively busy, but not, not full, full. Oh. Um, week ahead. Right, so the first one is checked out early. And just open up the doors. Open up my office. And see um, if any overnight bookings have come in. And let's get today started. Also, um, cottage turnover day today. So we've had a smashing family in the cottage for a week. Um, spoken to them a few times and they seem very, very happy with things. Right, in the office we I mean, go. You say we've not seen much of each other this year. Conk is looking good this year. I don't know, you know, I don't know if you noticed or not, but because we had such a wet start to the year and they're early. Anyway, yeah. I've got, sorry, by the time you see this video, because it's about a week behind, you, you'll know what I'm going to say. So Sandra's been on one of her uh, hippie treehouse festivals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, um, so she had a good time, apart from the storm at the end. Storm Lillian, which was this time last week. Right. So she ended up um, having to pack a tent early and sleeping in a barn and all that. So she come home and everything. And um, yeah, do you know what she came back with? She was she, she was ill. No, COVID. COVID. So she's come back with COVID. Really? Yeah, really. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come on, it gets worse. So anyway, so Sandra was like really poorly with COVID. So when I went. Just having a couple of days off, and then on um, I can't remember what day it was now. Wednesday, I said I feel really ill again. I said, "Well, it's probably the COVID." I said, "No, no, no." I said, "I'm really aching." Anyway, she was she was poorly, so I said, "Well, you stay in for two days." So me and Lee went out. Thursday, came to work. Message offered. She's got COVID. You know what else? She 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 says she's got. Covid and something else. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. I can hear you from here. Go on. Chicken pox. Chicken pox. She's got chicken pox and Covid. And chicken pox could lead to shingles, but all being well, it won't. So that's why. I'm, so yesterday, I've come and flying out to go and get antibiotics, paracetamol, ibuprofen, and calamine lotion. Chicken pox. Chicken pox and Covid at the same time. How unlucky! Wow. How, how unlucky is that? So when were this? Yes, yesterday. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. So she did see her about a week ago, but she was too far that away. That was from pre, me anyway. pre 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 hippie festival. Right. So and they were all they, everybody on that thing were they were all vegans as well. Yeah. Um. So they yeah. don't eat chickens, do they? No. No. Don't know. They got the pox. Mm. And you, but you don't want but you don't want anything pox, especially around monkeys. That's it's, weird. Chicken pox at that age. Yeah. Because you have a jab, don't you, as a baby? Yeah, but we're from the generation where I had chicken pox when I was nineteen. That's why I've got a big scab on my nose there. I've got a scab up there. Still got. There's a story you'll 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 see coming up about my chicken pox. Yeah, but chicken pox, Fanta, not good. That is it. No, I just keep her away from here, me, and me, and you. Look, that's you. why I've come back here. <laughs> there you can see, seagulls are up. The circling. Are you they, sure they're they, not they, vultures? They, no, no, they aren't really circling. So that means potentially. That's not been harvested. I'm going to have a walk down the lane into the dog bin. Um, yeah, digging up. We've not even thunderflies, Dan. Well, we, if it's been dug up, we're going to be having some kind of flies, aren't we? I would say so. We I would say so. I've got nothing on me. No, nothing. No, you've got something on your nipple. 
Um, I think that's just a bit of muck. Yep. Yeah, uh, well, that's weird. Where have they all gone? Right, there's one more departure to go today. And it's going to be the bad, mad, mad, mad Friday. Mo, 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 and mo some more day. And get the site looking great for our arrivals for the weekend. And the first place I'm going to be mowing is front of the facilities. So I'm just going to pop over to the cottage and see how uh, Dave and Tracy are getting on over there. Make sure everything is hunky dory. So we're a bit quietish at the moment. Um, and then pretty full again this after noon. You can't see what I can see. There's a gap there. And it looks like. Well, so you, you won't be able to see what I can see, but there's um oh yeah, yeah, there you go. My hunch was right to what's happened, I'll show you. So well the seagulls were up before. I'll show you what's going on. And so if you remember, it was only a week ago, this field, the wheat was all harvested, the straw was all cut. Straw was all baled, and now it's very recently. I don't know. That's happened just even this morning because the tractors have been going by. Uh, this has all been ploughed, ready to do it all again. So last year this was um, this was a hay fe uh, hay field. So I think they did about four hay, lots of harvest on it, and it must be very, very, very recently ploughed over because I know that's picking up the nice little white blips um, so they're the seagulls we saw that were all up in the sky before and they'll all be scavenging foraging um, but still no thunderflies and so yeah if you've been able to watch this year once again the depths of winter when we had the lake and all the flooding and the crops being put into the ground watching it all grow do you remember me explaining when the head of the wheat bends over it's ready for the harvest and we had the combine harvesters out did a bit of drone footage if you remember and then um, all done so say Lincolnshire sort of Norfolk the bread basket of um, Britain. Right, I'm just going to cut through the thing. So possibly dog bin, maybe. It's not too full, but maybe. We'll see how we go for time. All right, just going to pop over to the cottage. Uh, see how we go there. So we've got campers on today, and all the hard standing are fully booked up for this afternoon. Just doing a hot tub drain down. Quite mucky that day, isn't it? It's not normally that bad, is it? Uh, so the people that were in here, I think they've been in it every day, haven't they? Keep the cellar right, hammering. Um, so, get that down and refilled. It takes quite a while to to get it emptied. And it takes about three hours to fill up and then about four hours to heat up, doesn't it, Dave? It's a long job. It is a long job. It's the way the mop flops. Right, I'm on my... Um, no juices. I'll catch you in a bit. Yep. Oh, right. so I'm filming this now. It's the um, 29th of August. We have had a bit of rain. It's really the first time now the grass is looking a little bit parched. Um, on some of the pitches. Noticing a tractor coming up the uh, up the lane. Yeah. Uh, so you'll see coming up shortly. Oh, not many. Uh, so we just told it was uh, a wasp nest, but yeah, if you look here now. Big load of bales of 
door coming up. Alright, just do this and then pitch seven and eight and then do the facilities. Uh, just quite interesting. <laughs> what just happened there was the farmer spotted me filming him and um, so I said, Oh, you're alright, How, how's it going? and all the rest of it. Yeah, he come, come to you onto the campsite and he was just telling me about the, uh, the history of here. So, apparently, what they, would, what they used to do when it was a little CL site over winter, they'd put uh, grazing stock on here. So, I don't know if that was sheep or cattle um, to keep the grass down. And then he was saying over here somewhere there was a great big um, pear tree which yielded a, a, a massive crop of pears. Uh, yeah, he was telling me a bit, a bit about the history of it all. And then we were just talking about the harvest. And he was saying he's, he's well, well pleased with the harvest this year. So if you again going all the way back to how wet it all was. Um, and I often refer to another YouTube channel called Harry's Farm. Um, he was just saying, yeah, they've, they've, they've got, they're having an amazing harvest, which is uh, good, considering how bad it all was at the start of the year. Although many an acre has, have been lost down to flood damage. Right, anyway, enough of me waffling. Let's get on to um, another area and toilets and showers. back here as well and somebody else was saying they've got one very very late pitch number four um didn't say goodbye um <laughs> c41 e6 c22 ra4 ep2 is that a code Bit like the last of the summer wine. Right. Rubber gloves. Right, so there's the showers all done and um soap filled, fresh water in the mop bucket and uh disinfectant. I'm gonna go and glug some water and then carry on on come out. there's that pigeon fledgling again look at him there just sat there <laughs> I'll keep away from him signs of autumn and the leaves dropping. Oh, cabbage butterfly. Uh, hello, pigeon. Hello, tenor reef. I'll be leaving you here when I leave the nurseries. You look after the tree. But yeah, it's uh, very early. But if you look at the leaves already turning um, on the ground. So, Dave was asking. Um, about leaves here, do we use the Husqvarna to scoop up leaves? We don't. We we really don't get it. the only place we get any leaf problem is up by the Elson Point, uh, where they forms a bit of a whirlwind with leaves and stuff. It's mainly from the laurels, but we haven't really got any massive trees 
only these ones here. Uh, so we don't really have a leaf problem, uh, thank thankfully. Be interesting to see what we if you have a leaf problem back at back of the bungalow back at home. Right, glugger walls, a quick check of things, and I'm gonna make sure I bring some um pies and a couple of pears over for later. Making sure I've got some food in my office this afternoon. Two pears and two pies. And first arrivals as you very soon. I'm gonna start cutting the middle island. As I'm going up and down, I can keep an eye on the uh, on the barrier. I'll put these on my desk. Beautiful day. Oh, hello, pigeon. You're on top of the um, on top of the pod. How are you? Which pigeon are you? I've gone and forgotten. I might, have to back, I might need to knit back to my car. Ooh. An empty bag of Haribos is gone, and my um, my big container is empty as well. But I've got a couple of bags of Haribos I bought back yesterday oh. uh, to graze on, and I'm going to delight myself with a nice couple of pairs. Swingy pears and the culinary delights of a pork pie. So I'm just going to try and eat those with some water and then um, press on with this afternoon. So I need to go to a guy, I need to get some cash points uh, for something to do with work. So Dave's going to um, cover for me while well, I just nip to uh, Total Energy, it's about half an hour away. I think that's the nearest, nearest one. And if the uh, good thing there, if the cash point is down for any reason, they've got a post office inside, so I can always get cash from there. So, uh, another flying trip out. Crikey, that's uh, twice in one week that's happened. All right, that's sorted out. This ain't going to do justice, but just look at the views here. So I'm sort of on the way to Alford, uh, where I am at the moment, but that's just... Absolutely st just stunning uh, scenery. Oh, look at this tree here, look at this. Yeah, into September we go, isn't it? Uh, last day of the month, tomorrow, as I'm recording this. And um, the last uh, period of time, well, the kids are still on holiday before they all go back and the, uh, and the big wrap up happens, right? Back to the nurseries, we go. I've got a problem. I've got a problem. I'm not going to put Tracy on camera. Tracy, I've got a massive. No, it's all right. Don't worry. You're not on camera. Tracy, I've got. A, I've got. It's the worst moment of my life. Just happened. Wow. Something pretty. I don't know what I'm going to do. And I'm. I'm. I'm the actual. I don't know to weep. Really? What? You have to spend money. I have to throw some money out, but something's happened in my car. Oh, what happened? You didn't have a weed. <laughs> My arrow bros have melted. Oh, no. Oh, look at them. What am I going to oh, do with them? Oh, they have melted. It's, oh, no, I don't know what I'm going to do about them. I don't know what I'm going to do about them. My arrow bros are just completely. They have melted. Give them to David Ely. Get a straw. <sighs> I don't know what I'm going to do. Just like it's on day. Dave, what am I going to do? 
that's mush. Uh, mush? Mush? It's more than mush. That's horrible. Uh, uh, oh. I'm going to freeze it and just make one big sweep. The arabos are... <laughs> me arabos are, are so well done to the people who spotted something on a recent vlog. I think it was called Donkeys and Sunflowers. Did you spot the hats, the caps that me and Lee were wearing? So some of you spotted the tag on the back of one of them. Well done. But did you also notice... <laughs> and I don't think anybody actually did notice... Me and Lee, we were swapping a total of three different caps between us. So I've got Lee's cap on, Lee's got my cap on, and the third cap, um, as a bit of a, a fun birthday present, I sent for Simon, my son, um, back in Manchester. So that's why, if you look very, very carefully, there's three caps that were, um, were, were, were being played with, with me and Lee, and we're, we're wearing different caps um, on that video. So some of you picked up what looked like a price tag. It wasn't actually a price tag, it was the manufacturer's name um, on it. So that was what was going on on that video, um, donkeys and sunflowers. So if you've not seen it, go back and watch it. And now I told you, you'll be able to spot the, um, the fun that me and Lee were having. Uh, yeah, right, uh, it's still Friday afternoon and I'm still waiting for three on. I've just got one person who I know is going to be late. I've just got a whole hunch um, that he won't be here when, when they said they're going to be here. And that, that's going to be the one thing that I am not going to miss about being this job is there's always one that just has to string it anyway. Um, but apart from that, yeah, beautiful day. Last day of the month tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, Sandra seems to be okay. She's a bit fed up. But for now, I think I will finish the vlog off here and um, say goodbye for a very beautiful, sunny, amazing day here at the nurseries in Mumbai in Lincolnshire. Mm -hmm.